Welcome to the Epson SureColor S-Series training video. This video will cover general usage. The Epson SureColor S-Series supports both USB 2.0 and Gigabit Ethernet connectivity and will switch between the two as print jobs are sent to the printer. Located on the side of the S-Series, you will find two 110-volt power plugs, as well as USB 2.0 and Gigabit Ethernet ports. To connect to the S-Series, simply insert the USB and Ethernet cords into the appropriate slots. To ensure a proper connection, be sure to use the appropriate Gigabit Ethernet and USB 2.0 connections. The Epson SureColor S-Series supports two standard 110 volt power plugs for a total of 20 amps required. 30 amp circuit is recommended. If you have the optional dryer, this will require an additional plug. For more specific power requirements, please see the pre-installed checklist PDF at proimaging.epson.com. To establish a power connection, simply plug each of the 110 volt power plugs into the side of the machine. Once you have connected to the S-Series, Epson recommends you use two separate outlets to connect to your power source. You will find the plug for the optional high-speed print dryer on the side nearest to the control panel. Once connected, make sure to use a separate outlet to connect to your power source. To changing cartridges, simply lift the lever and remove the desired cartridge. When replacing, make sure the chip is facing up and in, shake, insert into the empty slot, and depress the lever to lock into place. If you have chosen to install these optional colors, your S-Series printer will periodically remind you to remove and shake both the metallic silver and white ink cartridges. To do this, simply lift the lever, remove the metallic silver ink, shake gently, and replace back into the slot, depressing the lever to lock into place. Repeat this process with the white ink by removing, gently shaking, replacing into the slot, and depressing the lever to lock into place. Periodically, the control panel will notify you that your maintenance tank is full. To remove the maintenance tank, simply lift and slide from the maintenance tank holder located on the side of your S-Series printer. If you intend on reusing your maintenance tank, you may do so by pouring the contents into an appropriate trash receptacle and wiping the edges to make sure there is no ink runoff. If you do not plan on reusing your maintenance tank, you may ensure it is ready for disposal by first inserting the inner cap and then screwing on the outer cap. Once complete, please be sure to check with local regulations before disposal. Once you have emptied or replaced your maintenance tank, you can insert back into the maintenance tank holder. To feed media to the cut position, use the shortcut on the control panel. This will feed your finished print into the proper cut position. Once the media is in position, Insert your cutting tool into the gap between the platen and the heater. Drag along the gap to make a straight cut and remove your media. To see related videos and learn more about our S-Series printers, please visit proimaging.epson.com.